Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, checking in on natural gas. So this pattern from yesterday's video played out very nicely. Look how tight it got. It was really the perfect pattern on the hourly. Look at the bull break and then continuation to a new higher high. Since then we began consolidating and you can see we got tighter and tighter. Inside candlestick on the hourly, as soon as we broke the low of that candlestick, it was a bear signal and we've done nothing but consolidate since then. We lost the higher low pattern. We lost the uptrend support line here so now we're looking down at the new support 3556 the bulls are trying to bounce off that level and if we can't hold 3556 I'm looking down at 350 there's a lot of support around that area so I'm gonna take this line and bring it on down to 350 it was a tough resistance level you can see after it rejected the price we gained it lost it again and then a half dozen rejections before regaining it again so 350 is a key level going forward and we'll look to see if we see a bounce attempt, which it looks like we are. We're going to see if it's just a bear flag for continuation. I would expect some further consolidation just looking at the daily time frame. Look at these big upper wicks the past two days, both of them rejecting from 370 and both of them showing profit taking. We have not confirmed a bearish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame on this entire breakout to the upside. We've seen a couple bearish reversal candlesticks, but no confirmation. So a red day tomorrow would change that and would have us looking to that 350 level. So we're ending with a little bit of weakness, although we do have the inventory report tomorrow. So that will be very telling as to whether or not the bulls continue. So with regards to the inventory report, if we see a bearish reaction, it's 350. And if we break 350, I would look at 3468. And if it's a bullish reaction, I would look up at resistance up here of 3719 and 3748. And if it's a bull reaction to the inventory report, I would potentially look for a top fishing play. And that's when you make a bearish entry near a previous resistance level. And if that resistance level were to break, that's your exit point. So it's nice and a, a clear trade because if we were to break 3748, the high that we've seen, obviously the bulls are still strong. And that would be your exit point. But if we saw an initial bullish reaction to the inventory report and we stopped out at about 372, the bulls couldn't push any higher that would be a nice bear entry point and we would have a very clear stop loss level. So that's just a potential trade. I call that top fishing where we have that resistance level to go off of. And if we get a pullback, there will be a nice bullish entry opportunity. We know the bulls regained the trend by hitting that higher high. And after some nice healthy consolidation, we could be looking for a bull entry and even 350 might not do it. If we pull back maybe into the lower 340s, 330s, then we'll be looking for a bullish entry. But this all depends on what the inventory report's going to tell us. So looking forward to that reaction tomorrow, and we'll check back in after the end of the day.